this is a very exciting year for Fife Opera as the company celebrates its 40th anniversary and we're really excited that for our special anniversary year we're going to be performing Mozart's The Magic Flute. It truly is a magical opera. The Magic Flute is full of show-stopping arias and choruses and music that I'm sure lots of people will recognise and this promises to be a really exciting production as the company welcomes its new director for this year, Douglas Nairn. Uh, Douglas is keen to really tap into all the magic in the opera and is doing something very special with it indeed. The production features two wonderful casts as well as the Fife Opera Chorus, our wonderful children's chorus and the fantastic Fife Opera Orchestra. As well as being a magical story, the Magic Flute is also a really exciting musical journey from the highs of the Queen of the Night's coloratura high notes to the richness and fullness of Zarastro's beautiful bass arias. Not to mention all of Papageno's fun songs and there's some great rousing choruses in there too. Fife Opera has a great history of attracting fine singers to work with the company and this year is no exception. As well as attracting lots of local talent, we also have some international singers joining us this year in some of the principal roles. First of all, I was involved with Fife Opera when I was about eight years old, so I, I know the company very well uh, and grew up watching it. And uh, to come back now and now direct uh, a production is something very special and it's been a lot of fun. So the story of the Magic Flute is basically your classic good over evil. Uh, Tamino and Pamina meet and they fall in love. Uh, actually, they fall in love before they've even met each other. The story is uh, basically about Tamino and Pamina and what they have to overcome in order to be together. I've rewritten all the dialogue. Strangled Nothing wrong with an alternative fact, apparently. And I think the key is the word magic you know we've really tried to tap into to the word magic in terms of the title of the opera um, so there's lots of wand swishing lots of spells being cast we've got a kids chorus in the opera uh, again which is fantastic they bring a great energy to the piece uh, we've got dancers who are dancing as animals uh, and as i mentioned lots of lots of magical spells so it very much is a family show well despite the best efforts of uh, some of the members of the cast <laughs> People often ask me, what would be a good opera, maybe for someone who hasn't been to an opera before and would like to give it a try? I think the Magic Flute might just be the one. It really is one for all the family and works for all ages. A fairy tale, a magical story, lots of comedy, humour, and the music is highly accessible too. And did I mention that Fife Opera's Magic Flute is at the Adam Smith Theatre in Kirkcaldy from the 1st to the 4th of November. Oh, and it's magic. Try that and see how it. Oh, that's works. good enough. <laughs> we'll try that. <laughs> so the magic flute's got animals and singing and dancing. It's wonderful to listen to. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs>